Hello everyone and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you are new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you are old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a student ID using Photoshop. Of course, you can apply it to different ID stuff like company works and other stuff. You can use this same procedure to create ID for them. But for now, you're concentrating on student ID and I'm going to do that with the help of my university, University of Education, Winneba and precisely Kumasi campus. So I'll be using their logo over here. And as a disclaimer, this particular ID that I'm about to create does not in any way relate to the University of Education, Winneba. I'm just using it for educational purposes only and educational purposes only. All right, so let's get into the video. So I started by creating a new document. I went to file the new and then I created a new document. Let's check the sizes from here, the image size. Okay, so I'm having 3.377 and then 2.175 over here. And then I'll click OK. So you should use that same size if you want to get a result of what we're about to do. So my university has the colors of blue, white, and then red. So I'm basically going to use this colors to create this particular id so i'll start off by selecting the rectangle tool over here and then i'll draw a rectangle across this line so i'm going to change the color to something reddish not all that red but yes yeah, some somewhere around this area okay so i'll click ok and then i'll push this one up small just like this and then I'll press Ctrl J to make a duplicate of this rectangle and bring it down over here. So somewhere around here will be okay for me. But one thing you can change the color anytime that you want. So maybe I want to make it blue, any color that I want to use. You can just change it anytime you want to. That is one advantage of using the rectangle too. Alright, so let's go ahead and create another rectangle on top of this rectangle that we copied so select the rectangle tool and then we draw another rectangle over here so like this and mind you this is where we are going to be inserting the picture or the passport size picture so you have to create it to fit the passport size that you use and of course i'm going to change this color to white over here and then i'll click ok so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add test to this particular id so i'll select the test tool from here and then the font that i'll be using is um acrobat and then i'll use the semi the bold over here and i'm going to type on top here so let me decrease the size okay Alright, so I'm pressing Ctrl T over here to size it out, like transform it, and then I'll position it somewhere around here very nicely. But you, you see what I want to do over here? I want everything to be in order. So I'm going to change the alignment to right alignment, like this, and then I'll position it over here. So anything that I add to this particular test will start from the right side. So I'll hit enter. And then I'll start to add like Kumase campus. But you see the thing, like I have a lot of space in between the University of Education and then Kumase campus. So I'm going to select all by pressing Ctrl A. And then I'll select this icon over here and then decrease the space. So the Kumase campus will join the University of Education whenever. So you take your time to do that very simple like that okay so when I'm done I'll just tick this particular thing or I'll just select the move tool and then I'll get rid of this so you take your time to position it very nicely and then I'll go ahead and select this Kumase campus I want it to differ a little bit from the main University of Education so I'll choose either the semi-board or the regular anyone that you choose 
so as simple as that and we have this ready okay so i'm going to choose the test tool again and then this time around i'm going to select something blue black for the color so of course you can choose any color that you want but for my for the sake of this tutorial i'll use this and then this time around i don't want it from the right alignment so i'll select the left alignment and then i'll use the bold over here okay and then i'll in decrease the size to about 14. so i'm going to just list the name of all the student particulars all right so i'll go off by right, so you just type in the name and everything that you you need to use so i'll fast forward this area Okay, so after doing this, you have to just press Ctrl T to just resize it and position it somewhere very neatly as you want it, right? So the positioning will just depend on you, how you want it. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do is every ID card is supposed to have, or a student ID card is supposed to have a validity period. So I'm going to select the test tool again and then I'll add a validity period. Okay, so I started school from, um, so valid from September 2017 and then we'll go through to July 2021. So I'm going to choose another font for it and I'll go for OCR extended and then decrease the size. And place it over this side so the last thing that I will do here is add uh, student ID maybe student ID and then that one I'll use the acrobat still and I'll use the extra bold and let me change the color to white And position it in the middle so it will just be like this right so the ID card is almost ready but it looks very plain so I have to I want to add a, um, the logo to it so I'll just come and bring the logo inside here and then I'll take it to the the last layer and increase it out okay so what I'm going to do is decrease the opacity from here so that it will be something like this, so that we, we will have it as a transparent logo inside the ID card so we can make a duplicate and then make it small by this one I'm going to have the opacity at 400 and then bring it over here so somewhere around here we do and decrease it small all right so you can take your time to make the adjustments very neatly now the last thing that I'll show you before I let you go is how to add a picture so I have this picture over here obviously uh, you, you say um, I'm sure you are saying that how can a guy we have a girl's picture just illustrating to you so this is the particular rectangle that we created for the picture size right okay so i'll just lift my picture from here and then i'm going to transform it out like that place it inside this one very neatly and then right click and create clipping masking so that it will fit exactly into the space that we've provided for the picture so if you see it here this is the final output of our students card so you can use or you can follow the same procedure to create different uh, different id card for companies and other working institutions or other institutions just like that so that is the simplest way to create a, a simple ID card for a school 
or student id card so thanks for taking your time to watch this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this any questions leave it in the comment sections and i'm going to attend to all of them thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye